One of Alaska's notable features is its beautiful scenery, which brings in tourists from around the world to view it. This is due to the numerous mountains, lakes, and nature trails which are within the state. In order to fully experience the nature of Alaska, one usually travels by rail on the Alaska Railroad with its luxurious stone cars and passenger amenities. Furthermore, it even rosters bi-level passenger cars, first being built from Pullman and more recently from Colorado Railcar, so that passengers can have an even greater view of the scenery which the state and the railroad has to, has to offer. The railroad even rosters a bi-level diesel multiple unit, or DMU, which not only carries passengers across the railroad, but is also a one-of-a-kind rail car which is one of the tallest in the world and is the only one of its kind still in service to this day for local services on the rail line. The Alaska Railroad's route consists of numerous spots for travelers to view the Alaskan countryside and to disembark at some of the flag stops in order to further view the nature of the region. One of these areas is within the Chugach National Forest, specifically consisting of major points such as Anchorage, Witter, and Seward. In the mid-2000s, the USDA Forest Service USFS, and the Alaska Railroad was planning a frequent whistle stop service within the region, specifically between Portage and Moose Pass, for travelers to easily and conveniently disembark from the train so that these points could easily be accessible by rail and interconnected by trail. Meanwhile, the use of bi-level passenger cars in Alaska was frequent for cruise lines and other tour services, including Princess Tours, Holland America, Royal Celebrity, and later the Alaska Railroad itself. Instead of using their existing 50-year-old Bud RDCs for their service, the Alaska Railroad ordered a bi-level DMU to be constructed for this route while the RDCs were later retired. The Alaska Railroad then purchased a bi-level DMU from their trusted passenger car manufacturer Colorado Railcar for $4.7 million as construction began on this one-unit wonder in 2007. Unfortunately, development of this car was delayed as a unique Colorado Railcar went out of business in 2008, but the railcar was luckily transferred to a facility in Hudson, Colorado where construction was completed. On February 19, 2009, the fifth and last Colorado Railcar bi-level DMU rolled out of the shops as Alaska Railroad 751, the Chugach's Explorer. Rolling out with a height of a whopping 19 feet and 10 inches, this one-of-a-kind DMU started testing at the facility and was later delivered via barge from Seattle to Whittier, Alaska, where it arrived on April 16. The rail car entered service in July with dedication ceremonies as it carried passengers to whistle stops within the Chugach National Forest. It continued to do this for some time as it carried travelers to numerous trails and scenic locations by itself with amenities such as large windows on the upper level and a cafe on the lower level. Unfortunately, the rail car did improve as reliable as promised as breakdowns were frequent and the rail car, as well as the shops that it was served at and the tracks it ran on, needed numerous modifications in order for 751 to properly fit and run throughout the system. Thankfully, the Chugax Explorer was also built to be used as a cab car, so instead of being sidelined and stored like the other existing bi-level DMUs from Colorado Rail Car, 751 was mainly used as a cab car for the Alaska Railroad's Glacier Discovery passenger train, towering over the other passenger cars in the train's consist, traveling through the same regions which the rail car initially served. To this day, the Chugach Explorer can still be found essentially serving as a cab car along one of the Alaska Railroad's most popular passenger routes as it continues to transport travelers to the scenic nature of Alaska. Thank you all for watching this episode of Remarkable Engines. Not only is 751 unique for being one of the tallest passenger cars in the US, if not the world, and for being a one-of-a-kind bi-level rail car from Colorado Railcar, but it is one of few DMUs built from Colorado Railcar which are still in service, and the only bi-level DMU still in service for that matter. The two pairs of bi-level DMUs sold to Tri-Rail are both stored and now in service as of the mid-2010s, while the Chugach Explorer still continues to roll on for the Alaska Railroad. Bi-level rail cars are generally common within the US, especially for commuter service, but these cars are cab cars and cannot move on their own. Therefore, a bi-level DMU meaning it can move on its own, is nearly unheard of in the US, and there are a few examples of this kind of rail car of existence in the world. 
with the retirement of other bi-level DMUs being years ago, this leaves the Chugach Explorer as the only operating bi-level DMU in the world, thus making this one-of-a-kind railcar a truly remarkable engine. Thank you again for watching this episode and stay tuned next time when I cover Union Pacific 844. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Have a good day.